All right, so uh, this little guy, I decided to move him up front because I just thought he look, came in looking so phenomenal. So this is a round tail blue marble betta. It's a bird. It's a plane. Just kidding, it's Colin. Back in this week's all new video, we're talking about fish. Colin's filling in for Eric this week. Check it out. Welcome back, my loyal fans, to the Tide Ed Iguana channel. This week, Eric is on vacation, so your boy's filling in. So, a couple of new additions or restocks we got in this week. Follow me. So, first off, I got in a fabulous restock of female half moon bettas. Have some nice colors in there. I got in 10 females this week. We got a restock of our common bristlenose pleco. Love these guys. It's my favorite, quote unquote, algae eater, but it's really like a, not really an algae eater, but we st people still call them algae eaters. Love all the ancestress. We got them in. Hiding inside here, we got in a half moon black samurai betta. There he is. We got a, a restock of our African dwarf clawed frog. We've been out of these guys for a couple weeks, so it's awesome to have a good restock back in. So these are fully back in stock now. I got a really good assortment of platies in this week. So we have a variety of colors. I have some Mickey Mouses. We have some other awesome coloration in there. We got a nice restock of uh, normal male bettas and our, uh, or I'm sorry, normal male guppies and normal female guppies um, in assorted colors and patterns. So we got a restock of glowfish. We also got in two yo-yo loaches. And then um, I got in some of the glow sharks as well this week. So we've been on a glow sharks for a little bit. So we got a restock of those in, and of course the yo-yo loaches are new. Moving on to our dark water tanks. Got in a baby tiger shovel nose. It's approximately two inches in length. It's a cute little guy. Decent size though, so they will grow quick. So don't worry if he's small now. They got a lot of size to gain. We got a restock of Rasbora heteromorpha, AKA the Harlequin Rasbora. Some people also call them the pork chop because of that shape of that black um, bar on the body. Got a restock of those. We also got in our albino ancestress. So our albino bristlenose are back in stock. I got in um, quite a few of those guys this week as well. We got a restock of cherry barbs. And neon blue rainbows. Both our standard striped coolie loach and our black slash brown coolie loach are back in stock as well this week. We've got a really healthy restock of both of those items. And we've been waiting for a little while, but neon tetras are finally back in stock. In here as well, I also have a Dumbo half moon that's kind of hiding out. Super cool on that guy. I got in a restock of Odessa barbs. Love these guys. These have been super popular lately. I've really been recommending these for a lot of community systems. Great color, but also a friendly demeanor, demeanor for a community environment. We got a restock of Zebra Danios, one of our most popular community fish. These guys are super duper active and they're probably one of the most hardy aquarium fish you can have in your aquarium. Inside here, hiding out, I got in another ornate Bashir. Um, he's hiding out in the log. He's a little guy, he's only about two and a half inches. We also got a restock of rainbow sharks this week and we got a restock of mollies in this week as well. So those are all in this tank, be sure to check them out. Also for all my South American cichlid fans this week, we did get a restock of some of our more common Oscars. So I have the standard wild type, but I did get in two awesome albinos. So I have a regular albino and then I have a high red factor albino in here as well that came in on the delivery. So both these guys are available. They're about three inches long, look phenomenal for all my South American cichlid fans. I feel like one of our sh uh, fish distributors used a shrink ray this week because all my betas came in really small on some of the high-end males. So black orchid back in stock, black orchid crown tail specifically. This one does have a couple, a little bit of a metallic element to him, but he's super gorgeous. He's gonna get really big and beautiful. Check this guy out. One of our uh, other high-end betas we got in this week, half moon white butterfly, super gorgeous. Another little guy, but really when he gets coloring, it, coloring out into maturity, he's gonna look fabulous. You can see he's got those clear transparent elements. If you remember, we talked about in our beta identification video, um, but these fins are gonna get more pronounced as he grows. And that's really where you're gonna get that white butterfly effect coming in as he grows and matures. All right, so uh, this little guy, I decided to move him up front because I just thought he look, came in looking so phenomenal. So this is a round tail blue marble betta. 
but check him out. Look how high white expression he is. He almost looks like some sort of like polar ice or frostbite beta. He's amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. So he's right up front. Um, he looks absolutely amazing. All right, back in stock. I've been dying to get my hands on some. This is one of my favorite utilitarian snails. Striped, nearite, or back in stock. I got 50 of them in today. We have plenty. So if you're looking to get a couple for your tank, come in this weekend and see us. I have plenty available right now. So for some reason, we are burning through them super quick lately. Um, they will go pretty quickly, but striped nearites are back in stock. If you have any questions about any of the fish we got in today, be sure to stop in store, come see us this weekend, or drop us a line online. Have a great weekend, guys.